guys are ridiculous. These guys are ridiculous. Now, how about them damn Celtics? And we are back with another How About Them Celtics video. Sam and I are here Monday, April 8th. We recorded earlier, but the Celtics decided to make a move. They have signed Namiyash Keita to a standard contract, moving him up in the world. Two-way contract, two standard deal, meaning one, no longer restricted by the 50-game mark, which he was encroaching upon, but probably wasn't going to reach. But more importantly, Namiyash Keita can play in the playoffs for the Celtics should they need him. Uh, Bobby mm. Grisky brought this up on Celtics of the Roundtable last week. A reminder, Celtics of the Roundtable Tuesday night this week again, 6 p.m. Tune in, be there live on the How About Them Celtics YouTube channel. Uh, but it was the overwhelming favorite between everybody. Um, everyone voted for it in the straw poll. Namish Gata, deservedly so, gets his contract upgraded. Uh, now a full-time Boston Celtic. Congratulations. You made the team and I didn't. Unfortunate. I was also a candidate. I came in second for what it's worth. So it, maybe I was the next choice if he said no. Imagine if he said no. <laughs> He's just like, I don't want to play. <laughs> I'm I'm dominating up in Maine. I think I'll just stick with this. This is a pretty good gig here. <laughs> Nimi, congratulations, sir. I I think the, the 16 and 19 performance up in Maine yesterday might have sealed it for him. I am curious why they waited <laughs> so long. You know, Jack. He's odd. It, you uh, know. They did they did announce this half hour, hour after Isaiah finalized to stay in Phoenix. Mm, I suppose. Mm, mm, nah. You think they I were think sitting you're there st- waiting, uh, waiting in the I, winds? Nah, I think I think you're stretching it. I see it. I see the vision, but I, I do think I'm gonna have to do it. I don't think so. But I'll do it after. I'll do it after. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please do it after. <laughs> we had to restart because I went to tweet. <laughs> No. Jesus, but shout out to Portugal. Nimi gets his contract. Like Sam mentioned, he had a huge game shout Rui. in the Celtics. Uh, shout out Rui in the Celtics Tom, conference finals game uh, against the Long Island Nets. Sent them to their first G League finals. Uh, Maine Celtics won their first playoff game in seven years today, and they won two. And now they're going to go be competing in the finals, which is a three game series between them and the OKC Blue. Uh, we do have a video from the G League. It's not the Long Island Net game, Nets game because those highlights aren't up yet. However, we can watch some of his and JD Davison's because it's the same video uh, highlights uh, from the Celtics semifinals win in the G League playoffs. Uh, we can take a look at that here. If this gets struck down for copyright, you're going to see a film over it. For, Hopefully it doesn't. We're trying our best. For what but, it's worth, yeah. the, the, Mixtape from the conference final game features a ton of Nimi too. If you do want to feature it, <clears throat> I just I didn't see it on Twitter. Is what I'm saying. Or I didn't see. Oh, it. okay. Oh wait, is this it right here? Okay, yeah, yeah, this, this is it. it. It's There's just funny. And look at this. He's he's in a Perfect. do the jump ball. Well, yeah, no shit. He's gonna Let's do see. the jump ball. Who Good start. Do the jump Good start. <laughs> that was it. That was the moment they decided 15th roster spot. You're in. <clears throat> yeah. Well, I mean, it just makes all the sense. It just it wouldn't really make any sense to bring anybody else in for this spot. Nimi's played well all season. It feels like a long time since we've seen real Nimi minutes, which you can kind of tell was going to happen because he's a very raw prospect, but the talent is clearly there. The Celtics just need to work on him with like timing, defense positioning, so, sort of the little things of he is on the court, but the raw athleticism, the raw talent of Nimi is, is, is very clear. Um, and he deserves a spot. He worked hard all season. He, he's, uh, he's been up in Boston. I would say more than Maine, at least at the start of the year, he, he was in Maine more Correct. Uh, towards the end, but yeah, good season for Nimi. Well-deserved contract. And, uh, I feel like a lot of people could have predicted this was going to happen. He's somebody too, that, um, it seems like he could still get minutes. I feel like they kind of cut it back because he was starting to run out of games. He could play for the actual Celtics with the two-way rules. I don't know exactly how all that works, but I believe he only had like three games left that he could play. Yeah, so I don't it think he was going like to hit it. They were it, trying but... to keep him, yeah. like just in case they wanted to run him in these last few games next week, where huh. you know they're not going to run Porzingis out there every single night. Probably not Al either. Why would you give those guys extra? opportunities to wear down when you don't have to. So Nimi, they're probably banking him as much as they could, but it's good for him. He's somebody before the season. I think we were both pretty excited about when they announced the signing on a two-way deal. The people love Nimi. He was a huge fan favorite to kick off the season. Like you mentioned, when he was playing a ton of minutes up in Boston, people were like, he's playing better than Luke. And there, there are a lot of raw qualities. There's a lot of things he needs to improve on. One of them is discipline. I don't think he's the most patient defender of all time. I think he jumps a lot. He fouls a lot when he plays with the big boy Celtics. 
and that keeps him from staying out on the floor and getting larger stretches of minutes. And listen, if he can sit back, watch, and learn how to be Luke Cornett, I see no problem with that. I think that's fantastic. Somebody that's as athletic as Nimi is playing the Cornette role would be a little bit of an upgrade. Don't you think? Like, this is not me saying I can't wait till Luke Cornette isn't the one getting the minutes, but uh, I mean, we wa- we're we going to watch him do all of his athletics. You're going to see him do some super cool dunks, some blocks. And Cornette is fantastic as the role man. And that is a fundamental staple of his game, and Nimi isn't doing it as much. So there's room to grow there, too. But Ultimately, if you're able to get him up to speed, he would be a very fun replacement for Luke Cornett when the time comes. Because, I mean, you uh, might have to pay Cornett soon. Potentially, yeah. I think it, I think that is what it is. I think Nimi is more of a – I see him more as a what Drew Peterson is to Sam Hauser to, like, to Luke Cornett rather than he could mm-hmm. replace Cornett one day. I just don't think you'll ever get him to the point where he knows the system as well or is as good at being in position or is as good at just like doing all the little things as Cornette is because I, I think he's really underrated Cornette is in, in that role. That's not saying like I, I still think the highs of Namish Keda are better than the highs of Luke Cornette, but the lows of Namish Keda are still. Prize Picks is America's number one sports app with more than 3 million members. It is the easiest and most exciting way to get out of the action while you watch your favorite sports and players. You just pick more or less on two or more player stats and watch the winnings rolled in. Now get in on the playoff action. Win up to 100 times your money on prize picks as you and the world's best players take the game to a new level during basketball's postseason. If you have the skills, you can turn $10 into $1,000 in just a few taps. Prize picks is really simple to play. You can make a pick and submit an entry in less than 60 seconds. This week on Prize Picks, I'm selecting Jason Tatum to dish out more than five assists and for his teammate Jalen Brown to have more than 22 and a half points. Download the app today and use code CLNS for a first deposit matchup to $100. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy. Prize Picks. I don't think fixably. Like, I don't think you can ever get to a point where the lows of Namish Keda are higher than the lows of Luke Cornette, if that makes sense. And that's not a disrespect to Keda. It's just... I'm I, laughing yeah. because you never think anything is fixable. It's not even a fixable thing. It's just, I don't think Namish Keda will You don't think get, somebody can get more disciplined? It's not like, I don't think anything is ever fixable. I think this specific scenario, I don't think Keda will ever be as good at Luke Cornette as reading those things. It's not a knock to Keda. I still think he can play a role. I just don't think he will ever be in a spot where he will replace Cornette's minutes. I think it will be a, if Cornette is gone, you build Keda up to the point where he can be the replacement. I don't think he will ever replace. Sure. I just, I just think a lot about how Rob was when he was, (laughs) raw coming into the league he was a freak athlete Nimi is not that much of a freak athlete for what it's worth but Rob was able to learn to be disciplined he had a lot of the same problems early on where Nimi isn't disciplined Rob wasn't disciplined Rob would do a ton of jumping but my thing with Rob is Rob is Rob was always good at being in the right spot discipline is one thing jumping knowing when to jump that is something he improved upon but he was always being in the right spot so it was just when to go Nimi is oftentimes not in the right spot, especially defensively. And I don't want this video to turn into me shitting on Nimi. Nimi's a great player. Mm. I, I think he's fun. I think he deserves this contract. He's a hard worker. And I do think he could eventually work his way in to maybe getting some spot minutes with the Celtics. But he, I just don't think his positioning will ever be as solid and as consistent as Luke Cornett's is. Does that mean he's never going to play minutes over Luke Cornett? No. I mean, you saw it earlier this season. There are spots where Nimi is the better option, right? You need a better, you know, mm-hmm. you need some offensive rebounds. He's going to give you that. You need some, uh, some um, more athleticism on the floor. He'll give you look that. He's going to made a three right there. Look at that. But yeah, if you look I, at the ref, there's your two. <laughs> uh, it's close enough. I just don't like the consistency. I just don't know. Maybe it will get there eventually. Maybe I'm wrong, but at least not while Luke Cornett is like in the next couple years. I don't know. I, I don't see it. No, personally. I mean, I can understand. I'd have, be happy to be wrong, but. That was Positioning is a big thing he needs to learn. Like there are aspects of his game he needs to, to improve on, to fine tune. And a lot of it is fundamental stuff. So it isn't the easiest thing to conquer, the easiest thing to get past. But if he does, he could fill that role very easily. 
and probably definitely. But you know, if you don't want to buy into his floor being at the same level as Luke's, that's fair. The ceiling's there. I agree. I'm in on the ceiling. I said it all year. I think the ceiling, the eyes of Lemish Gata are better. It's just the consistency of Luke Cornett sort of outweighs that, especially when you want to be as consistently great as the Celtics have been this season. And that's a credit to them. But like you look at his averages, even on the season, he's in the minutes he's gotten in, in 26 minutes, 11 minutes per game, he's averaging five and four. Um, if you average that out to per 36, which is obviously not something you can do like fairly, um, it's 14 and a half and 13 and a half per 36, which is pretty damn good. Um, He's also <laughs> averaging 5.6 fouls per 36, which is probably not great. However, it is down from the five games he played last year in which he averaged 8.7 fouls per 36, which is uh, discipline guess, improvement, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. He almost cut it in half. Uh, Don't take the credit away. Kind of. Hey, well, sample size. You average it out. It's <laughs> around <laughs> uh, six anyways, but. Yeah, I mean, I like Keda. He deserves this. Absolutely. There was nobody else who should get this contract um, over Keda. Uh, hopefully we get to see some more minutes of him down the stretch here of the season. Um, although at the same time, like we're talking about Keda taking Luke Cornett's minutes. T- Tillman is also here now. Like, like unfortunately for Keda, if we're talking about positioning and overall, like going to take Luke Cornett's minutes, if anybody's going to take Luke Cornett's minutes at this point, I feel like unfortunately uh, for Keda, it is Tillman, but we'll see. I, I think you could see a world where, like you said, Luke gets scooped up by another team willing to pay him. Celtics slot Nimi in there, run Tillman and Nimi in those, you know, matchup based spots. Uh, and I think that's perfectly fine. And again, Nimi deserves his contract. He's worked hard all season. Respect. Yeah. Cornette is somebody that's going to attract attention. He's been fantastic. Anytime he's gotten real minutes this year, his numbers have been higher than they've ever been. He has really, really come into his own the second half of the season. And you know other teams are going to see that. So having a backup plan going forward is a pretty good strategy for the Celtics. I can respect that. Definitely. But, yes, let us know what you think in the comments. I assume it's going to be overwhelmingly positive. Shout out, Nimi. Shout out, Portugal. Shout out, Rui. Thank you for tuning Cornette's in. Make finished. sure to subscribe to How About Them Celtics. Uh, and I'll let Sam wrap it up. Yeah, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any breakers like this. We don't have a lot of breaking news this time of year, but I'll tell you. If you had the bell on, you wouldn't have missed this one. You can also find us coming at you with something new every single day at 5 a.m. We'll be here in the morning with a new pod. Pods come out Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Talk and Seize is live on the channel Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We're here tomorrow night, Tuesday night at 6 p.m. Eastern for Cells at the Roundtable with the Celtic Avengers, so you don't want to miss that. And we'll be here a half hour before every single game for pregame. Pregame is a ton of fun. You definitely want to be here for that one, too. You can find us on, if you want the audio versions of the full pods and game recaps, then hit the follow button and they will be right in your inbox. You can email us, hbtcpod at gmail.com is the address, whether you have thoughts on Nimi, you have some rat list stuff you want to send in, or just anything else that you may want to send our way. We'll listen to you. We love having you guys contribute to the show. Our socials are at How About Them C's. Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. The Facebook is just the name of the podcast. Our streams are there. They're on YouTube and they're on Twitter. Jack's Twitter is at Jack's Mon NBA. Mine is at Sam LaFrance NBA. That's it for us. Bye. Come on. Tackles. Come on. Tackles. 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 Tackles having some fun here.